I just would like, can I finish? Is that, is that fair yeah, for me to finish now, okay? So we go to anyway. Nazi Germany, okay? And they say that Jews are valuable and they're a racist society. So you said that morality comes from us as a collective. We, we were brought up a certain way, but the Nazis were brought up to murder Jews. How do we know it's wrong? Do you know, have That's you heard of the, such, it? Have you heard the, of the Nazis Nuremberg? Were to, uh, just bear with me on this point. <laughs> Nazis were brought up to murder Jews. One guy was brought up with that intention, and he used it as a political, let's say, stick to get the rest of his people to okay. But was it wrong what they life. did? What? It was completely and utterly wrong with him, and okay. I'm complete, don't Good. get me wrong, I'm not racist slightest bit right but that's what he did he was a good politician and he was a good speaker a bit like what this guy's doing okay craig so let me Not say this to you great right let me get to my final my punchline fine the nuremberg trials okay you've yeah. all, many of you've heard of the nuremberg trials and the nazi leaders not just hitler well hitler was dead at that point they stood up and they said how can you in britain say that we've done wrong being racist and we've killed these jews we just followed our own morality we just did what we felt was right in our own culture the chief prosecutor, a man called Robert Johnson, stood up and said, yes, but you know that's wrong because there's a law above the law. And the Bible says God has written the law upon man's heart by giving us all a conscience. Of course we know that racism is wrong. Of course we know murder is wrong because God has given us a conscience. And my argument to you would be is, how do you know the difference between right and wrong? Because if there is no God, there's no lawgiver, then equally, if I hit this man over the face, or I help this man, then then it's equally, it's just like a choice. Like, one man says he prefers broccoli, the other man says he prefers beans. Morality is just a choice, but we know it's not. And this is what I want to say. Whoa, 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 whoa. What do you say? Like, morality is a choice, you know it's not. I'm it saying say. morality, we know that morality is, is more choice. than that. We know there is absolute right and wrongs because God has written it on our hearts. And let me ask you this now, Craig. I'm going to get a bit personal. Whoa, 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 whoa. God hasn't written on right. Morality to everybody here is completely different. Everybody will have their own thought of how they actually think it should be. Every country has its own thought. You've got uh, Middle East thinking it's completely different to everybody over here. So who's to say who's right and who's wrong? Because ultimately, can you live it out? If I... If are you a married you're, man? If, are you a married man, no. Craig? Okay. Okay, uh, have you got children? Yeah. Okay, if I hurt your children, and I say that my morality says, I think it's fine for me, for me to hurt your child, but you say that's wrong, how do you prove that I've done wrong? That's my point. And so I just want to say, look, look, we can argue forever and ever. That's my point. But Craig, can I just ask you one thing? Have you done wrong before? Everybody has. Right? Yeah, and I've done wrong, right? You see these fists here now, Craig? I know... You might laugh at me, but do you think that these fists have ever hit anyone before? What do you think? Yeah. Yeah? You think they have, okay? You think they have, okay? <laughs> they have, actually. Do you think that these feet have ever walked to places maybe they shouldn't have? Again, what you try to... What point yeah? You to do you think these eyes have looked at things they shouldn't have? What do you think? Most people have. Yes, yeah, they have. They have. But then ask me this, Craig. Am I going to heaven? Thank God. The minute... We've not even proved the existence of God yet. Yeah, but I'm just going to... I just said we can argue and argue forever, and I'll have a chat with you in a minute. But I am going to heaven, not because of anything good I've done, but because Jesus Christ came into this world, and that's why we're here this weekend. He bled and died on a cross. He took all of the wrong things you've done, all the wrong things I've done, and he was crushed on that cross. It says between the sixth and the ninth hour, darkness fell on the land and between those three hours Jesus cried with a loud voice my God my God why have you left me because all of your sin you've just like, gone you've done it exactly again you've gone down to exactly saying to people that you that God exists that we've got to Jesus Christ that's a completely different discussion whether Jesus exists whether God existed or what Jesus actually was would you like me to get a really intelligent person out to talk to you? No, we've actually you got like a professor. Really well, we, we agreed on that right and wrong conversation. Anyway, that's, that's, that's I, we can talk forever, but I'm just going to put one last challenge out, and I wonder if you'll be able to take this challenge. This is a hard challenge. Craig has given me a real grilling today, but I'm going to give one final challenge to Which Craig. Which you've not answered any of the things I've said. Okay, <laughs> maybe not. We'll have a chat. Okay, maybe I have, maybe if you, that's, that's your opinion. Which, which church do you actually represent? Are you a joke? Or, 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 what, no, 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 I'm not. But can I, let me give you one last challenge. Let's get right. What, what church do you represent? 
I, I'm part. I'm a Christian. Okay, I'm a born no, again that, Christian. I'm, like, a Baptist, I'm a Baptist. I'm a Baptist, if you like. Yeah, right. born again. Okay. One last question to the crowd. So, what would you think of me now, Craig? If I said to you, Harry Potter's a terrible book, what would you think of me? That's your opinion. Okay. What if I said Harry Potter is a load of rubbish, but I've never read it? Well, that. <laughs> yeah, you'd say, you'd say, thank you, madam, thank you. For your uh, you'd say, read it first and then make a the judgment, yeah? So don't say the Bible's a load of rubbish without reading it first. I'm going to give you, I'm going to offer you now a portion of the Bible, John's Gospel. If anyone wants it from hand, you're going to have to be brave now because people are a little bit. Would anyone like to take it from hand? Please take it and read it for yourself. Thank you. Anyone else wants a John's Gospel? Jesus said, I am the resurrection of the life. Hey, Why just Jones? What about all the other four? Well, there's plenty, but we're just giving Which this one. Which all contradicted to the Bible, right? yeah. Give me one contradiction, then. Not many contradictions. Well, because there aren't any, sir. <laughs> Give me one. Name one contradiction, Craig. I've not got it on me. I'd love to go. I'll have to come back. OK, you, you come back at 3 p.m. I'll tell you one thing. I'll have to come back here. We've got a professor here who's going to take your questions a, a scientist professor who is also a Christian, and he'll take your he'll take your questions. You come back, Craig, with the contradictions. I did when I was thinking I was yeah. Catholic. Come and bring them back, and we'll have a chat to you. But thank you for your questions, Craig. I really do appreciate it. You, I really do appreciate your time. Would you take one of them? No. Okay.